Soybean Science Challenge started in 2014 as a collaboration between the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture Cooperative Extension Service and the Arkansas Soybean Promotion Board. At the time, the Soybean Promotion Board was working through a strategic plan with Dr. Karen Ballard, who was the original PI for the Soybean Science Challenge project. And the Soybean Promotion Board, through that process, identified the need to develop and invest more in education for K-12 through students across the state of Arkansas about soybeans and soybean production in Arkansas. So Dr. Ballard created the Soybean Science Challenge project based on her own experience in science fairs as a kid. And so the basic premise of the Soybean Science Challenge from the beginning has been that students enroll in an online course and whenever they successfully complete the online course, they then enter a science fair project in their regional or state science fair and if they win the Soybean Science Challenge Special Project, then they get a cash award along with certificates and a lot of other goodies. And this has been a fantastic way for the soybean farmers of Arkansas and the Soybean Promotion Board to invest in student scientists. Kids like challenge. I know people think kids don't like that and they're lazy, but they're not. They like challenge. They like to compete about things. And this gave them an opportunity to do that and, and learn about real world problems in agriculture, for example, or something related to agricultural science. And how do you, um, how do you end up tackling that? The Soybean Challenge offers students guidance and direction, resources, uh, both in the way of uh, people, but also in the way of information online. If they go into the Soybean Challenge website, they will find out a lot of the, not only previous project titles that have been worked on, but current events, current titles and questions that people in the soybean industry are asking. I think having that kind of award on your resume when you apply for college is a big sell. Uh, and just the fact that you were able to complete a project and compete for that kind of award is going to really get home to, to colleges that this is a dedicated student who's really interested in agriculture and plant science or even animal science. I love that the Soybean Science Challenge really gives the kids an opportunity to focus on a real world problem. Like they can actually take something that would be useful to a farmer and apply it to their research and structure their whole project around that. We are a regional science fair that encompasses 13 counties in central and north central Arkansas, ranging from the most populated county to some of the least populated counties. And so we have a wide range of students from various socioeconomic backgrounds, some students in Little Rock have never been to a farm and vice versa. So having the soybean science challenge available to them and it provides them lessons um, to go through and some background on scientific research and things like that. So that's a, a great resource for students and their teachers to have. We're reaching young people through your efforts, reaching young people I don't think we would have with traditional agriculture, which I certainly enjoy, but this, this opened up a whole new audience uh, and I think will allow some future scientists to develop uh, into maybe even uh, soybean agronomists and soybean scientists in the years ahead. So I believe that the Soybean Science Challenge really sets you up from the beginning to get kind of down and dirty in the field or if you're planting in a greenhouse or even if you're doing data research i feel like that's first the best step to start with just because you're learning practical knowledge and learning how to do those research steps really advances your career so quickly i didn't realize how important it was to tell my professors i got involved in this soybean research project back whenever i was in high school and they absolutely love to hear that and they're always so happy to bring you into their lab and you can start studying their graduate students and then you can become a graduate student. So I think that's a very amazing pathway. I don't know, I think I was probably the year that I started the challenge in 2014. 
maybe 2013, 14, I, something snapped inside of me and I knew that I wanted to work with plants. Now, when it comes to plant pathology and plant disease, that was kind of, I would say that the challenge really helped push me in that direction. I would like to add that I think that the Soybean Science Challenge is one of the best opportunities that high school has to offer, especially in Arkansas, since that's where it's known for. I really wish that was something I was able to participate in sooner because it would have helped me develop the skills I now have at an earlier age. And I've encouraged my ag teacher to sign every kid up every year. It actually changed my choice of career from a kindergarten teacher to going into plant and animal science, but mostly plant science. I think I want to work for the NRCS or maybe the Extension now possibly. And that's all because of the Soybean Science Challenge because I didn't know it was an option before it. Many of the teachers that are involved in science fair might not have the science research background. And so having teacher workshops on scientific research and being able to help mentor the teachers and the students that are doing science fair projects is a, is a major benefit. Uh, being in Northwest Arkansas, we don't have as much exposure to row crop farming. So they get to see a little bit about what life's like on the farm, what it'd be like to work on um, a soybean farm, as well as some of the different products that affect their everyday life that, that come from the industry. We received the award last year. It was our first year to have the garden, so we did a lot of work last year. Met Deidre, she came out to our school, educated the kids with uh, objects that are made from soybean that they use in their daily life. She uh, gave us seeds, we planted seeds, we grew seeds over the summer, even though it was so hot, they did well. The students so enjoyed coming to school this year and harvesting those soybeans. It's just brought a, a depth of knowledge in the soybean area that we didn't have coming into the coming into the school year. We learned so much last year that this year we're taking what we learned last year and, and moving forward with it. I think if you're a science teacher or an agriculture teacher, uh, this can tie into your curriculum so many different ways. Uh, going through the program is really good. You can go through step by step uh, through the lessons and videos with your students and learn about local agriculture, world agriculture, uh, some of the careers in that area, whether it's someone who just wants to go be a farmer, you know, if they want to come to the university and major in crop sciences, soil sciences, you know, it, it connects to just so many different opportunities. I love the material. It's perfect. It's timely. It's it's up to date, and things change in the ag world all the time. So it's a it's a great resource for my classroom. Uh, we work through the entire course as a class, and it really helps my kids get ready for the tool that we use in our classroom. That is our our little 22 acre farm. Um, since we farm soybeans there, it's. It helps me as a teacher prepare them for all of the things that come up, whether it be insect management, disease management, um, and just learning where that product's gonna go after it leaves our farm. But it also allows those students to practice their reading skills. Um, it allows them to practice their research skills, their writing skills, and their speaking skills. And as they're going through that, they don't even really realize, hey, this is like classwork, schoolwork. And they're learning about their state and about this important crop in our state. I love that the Soybean Science Challenge really gives the kids an opportunity to focus on a real world problem. Like they can actually take something that would be useful to a farmer and apply it to their research and structure their whole project around that. Before um, we had looked at this program, um, my students, a lot of them didn't even know what a soybean was. Um, definitely when we got the packages, they were really excited. They were like, I didn't even have a clue that this was a thing in Arkansas. They didn't even have an idea that we were growing these in Arkansas and that it was such a major production piece in our state's economy. Um, they just always knew about rice and they knew about cotton because that's what's grown in our area. Uh, but they had no idea about soybeans. So definitely it was an eye opener for all of my students. And they ended up having more questions at the end than they had at the beginning, which I think is the essence of scientific uh, study. I personally want to say thank you, and I know a lot of students later on will look back and say thank you for the opportunity. 
And the reason for that, uh, thank you, being very deserved is because the Arkansas farmers in the soybean industry have tapped into something that is very helpful for teachers. What the Soybean Challenge does is here are the steps to actually design an experiment. Here are the resources, here are topics, here are good topics. Uh, the students are not left to just uh, imagine something on, on their own. Uh, so their projects are much better than they otherwise would be. So for that, I have a lot of appreciation for the soybean farmers offering this, uh, this uh, program for the kids. We would like to thank the UA Cooperative Extension, Deidre Young, for coming out to our school and giving us the opportunity to learn what we've learned last year about soybeans and the opportunity this year to build on what we learned last year. It's an invaluable resource that we have and I'm very appreciative. The problems we're going to face in this century are different than what we faced in my time and certainly different than what we faced in my father's and grandfather's times in agriculture. And and so, and these problems that are coming toward us um, com are really complicated, but, uh, and will only be addressed through, um, I think, uh, critical, creative, original thinking. And it's probably gonna come from minds that have been introduced to science through a program like this.